Hello everybody, in this lesson we are going to talk about some distortion effects, namely offset, morphology and displacement. The effects are reasonably straightforward and simple. Let's start with offset. I already have a filter created and I'm going to add the effect offset. And I see that I have two parameters, delta x and delta y. Let's select an object and apply the filter. And meddle with the parameters. I see that as I change delta x, the object is moving horizontally. And if I change delta y, the object moves vertically. This can be useful in combination with a blend function. For example, if I click on blend and add effect, then I will combine the offset graphic with the source graphic and combine the effects like that. Second secondly, we are going to look at morphology. Let's select the object and add the morphology effect. We have two operators, erode and dilate. Erode makes the object thinner and dilate makes the object fatter. The amount by which it's made thinner or fatter depends on the radius, which I can modify either together or in the x direction or in the y direction. Let's give a quick demonstration by applying the filter. When I click on dilate it makes the object fatter and when I click on erode it makes the object thinner. If I want to erode it only in the x direction, that's possible. And the same is true for dilate. Next, I'm, we are going to talk about displacement map. A displacement map is distorts the image according to a certain displacement map. As you could understand from the name of the filter effect, I think it's easier to give a demonstration. Let's click on displacement map and add effect. I see I have two inputs. The one input will uh, be used to displace the second input. Let's create a displacement map. I'm going to use a basic turbulence as a displacement map and move it above the first effect and I'm going to set the base frequency to 0, 0,1 and let's use the Turbulence as the first input and the source graphic as the second input and apply the filter. No, let's use the source graphic as the first input and the turbulence as the second input. Excuse me, and apply the filter and let's increase the scale of the displacement map. And I see that the displacement that the picture is being distorted. The X and the Y displacement are both defined by the amount of transparency in the object in the displacement map, but you can also select red, green or blue. Let's have a look at this Turbulence, I can change the frequency of the turbulence and you see that the image changes underneath. 
Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.